This is Science Quest. With your host, Jed Allen Friel. Hi, I'm Jed Allen Friel, and thanks for joining me today on Science Quest. He's taking you around the world, discussing everything science. Hi, I'm Jed Allen Friel, and thanks for joining me on Science Quest. Today we're at Black Pine Animal Sanctuary to shoot one of our episodes about where animals come to spend the rest of their lives. And we're trying to hook up with a very special animal by the name of Tarzan. And we're hoping that my youngest son, Cody Friels, who's an animal keeper here, can make that connection. So let's head on up into the park and find Cody and Tarzan. Hey, today we're inside Black Pine and we're going to look for Cody. He told us to meet him over at the Chimpanzee Barn, so that's where we're headed. Hey, Cody, how you doing? Hey, Dad, doing well. Hi, Katie, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Who do we have today, Cody? Well, this is Tarzan. He is our chimpanzee. Uh, you can see he's getting a nice little snack today. He's getting some mango, I believe. What's Tarzan's story, Cody? Well, Tarzan is one of the few animals we ha here have here at Black Pine Animal Sanctuary that is actually from his native habitat. He was born in Sierra Leone, Africa, and his mother was killed for bushmeat, and he was brought here um, you know, on the black market for the pet trade. Wow, so he's only known captivity his whole life. That is correct. He has been in captivity his entire life. He was um, eventually bought by a trainer, so he was in the circus for a little bit. He posed for a lot of greeting cards, um, calendars. Oh, <laughs> I don't think he liked yourself. the greeting card thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then he retired and he came to us as a sanctuary, and then he'll be here for the rest of his life. What are you feeding him today, Cody? Well, right now he's just getting a snack. He's getting mango slices. Okay. Um, he eats what we should eat every day. Okay. So he eats a lot of vegetables. He eats a lot of fruits. Um, he does really enjoy sweets and some uh, some pop, but those are just completely snacks like they should be for us. Great. I heard you say he's going to spend the rest of his life here. Is that what happens with animals when they come to Black Pine, Cody? That's absolutely what happens. Since we are a no uh, breed, no buy, no sell policy here, um, when they come here, our motto is for the rest of their lives. So they're going to stay here as comfortable as possible until um, they go ahead and pass away. So at least Tarzan knows now that he's never going to be used again for profit someplace else. That's correct. That's part of our mission here, yes. That's amazing. Tarzan have any interesting uh, other things? I noticed you... Uh, yeah. He was carrying a spoon around, I think. Tarzan's got a lot of other interesting things, but the spoon, you can see, is right in his hand right now, right down here. And uh, he actually got that spoon for Christmas in December, and he's let it go one time since then on accident. He dropped it through his cage when he was sleeping, and we took it and gave it back to him the next day. But he hangs on that to that thing for dear life. He's uh, kind of a hoarder, so his possessions he always has to keep, and that is his prized possession. Fantastic. He really likes things that are shiny, and he likes things uh, that you can see his reflection in. So you'll see him. So you'll see him like looking at his reflection in it. He'll look at other people in it. Um, it's just something that he uh, always hangs on to. Tarzan's got a great enclosure. I see right now. Mm -hmm. I also noticed that none of the animals here at Black Pine are locked out. Okay, what's the philosophy behind that? Well, unlike a lot of zoos, we never lock an animal in or out unless we're doing something necessary, like cleaning outside or cleaning inside or some uh, veterinary type care. Um, they can always go inside or outside depending on what their wants and needs are. Um, whereas some zoos might lock them outside since people are paying to see those animals. Um, since we are a sanctuary for the rest of their lives, they uh, can go wherever they want as long as they're comfortable. So a person may visit Black Pine, but an animal might not be out for them to see. That's exactly right. But that's because the animal chose not to be out that day. Yes, very true. Cody, thanks so much for your time today, and Katie, thanks for getting those mangoes out. Remember, if you'd like to learn more about Black Pine and what they do here for animals for the rest of their life, you can check it out at blackpine.org. Thanks for joining Cody and I today on Science Quest.